Hello and welcome back to the 124th episode of this Grand Theft Auto Vice City, the definitive edition playthrough. I think we'll grab one of Mitch Baker's angels from this greasy chopper bar. It's working hard so I can get another station wagon with even more wood on it. Go on, tell me more about the family. Uh, well, I like to compare it to nature. After all, it is one planet, even if we do just want to maim and kill each other, especially me. Now, look at sharks and sand worms. Well, one of my hobbies, besides making babies and criticizing people, is biology. You learn so much from nature. Uh, people these days, they don't grow their own food. They can barely so we're doing, we're going to the and make club it to the supermarket. For the next <laughs> you, asset mission. There is nothing super about that place. The kids these days don't know how to preserve and can their own food. No, no wonder all they want to do is play video games or hang out with their friends. What is it, the Degeneratron? What a crock of shit. <laughs> Watch your language. This is radio. We have regulations about that sort of thing. But you let a naked man on. Yeah, he's behind the screen. You can't see. It's not that exciting. Whoa. Imagine a flabby guy with a ponytail and a nasty rash. You'll get the picture. Whoa, what's that? Imagine what? I married one. Anyway, what was I saying? I did go to the stop if I wasn't expecting that though. Degeneratron, which I understand is a games machine. Then you swore. I'm sorry. It makes me so mad. I mean, what I heard my son, Patrick the Third. I heard him using slang words in the house the other day. Rad and cool and... Living girl. Excusez-moi. And I'm like, whatever. This is... the driver. Things are starting to come together nicely here. What's the plan, Tommy? Que pasa, amigo? The plan is you keep doing that like a moron. <laughs> Anyhow, we need a driver. Tommy, I'll do it. I can drive. <laughs> you want Hillary, mister. Not some smart-talking law school chum. Hillary's a real deal. You ain't never seen anyone drive so fast. I'll give him a call here. Hey, Hill. It's Phil. How's it going? No, don't talk. We'll reminisce later. You want to do me a favor? I got me a guy from up north. Oh, no, I don't think he was in the service, but he wants a driver for a bit of action. Okay, I understand. What do you say? Well, he'll do it, no problem. Well, there might be a little problem. See, he has abandonment issues. Seems he won't work for anyone who can't beat him. Something to do with his mama. Anyway, he wants to race you first. Said he'd meet you outside. Okay, Hillary, let's race. Why can't I meet someone normal for a change? You Tommy? Oh, oh, of course you're Tommy. I mean, why else would anyone want to speak to me? Okay, consider it this way. I'll drive for you if, and only if, you can drive properly. Leave me alone, and I'll never forgive you. Well, I'll tell you. Come here. Sentinel. Yeah, but I think it's going to handle that ball in the rain. Here's a proper drop for you, Hillary. Really? Taking the lead. How long? That remains to be seen. Not long at Slow down, Hillary. We're gaining on him. Nice. Yeah, 
Yep, we got the lead. Barely. Last thing we need is a police car oh, knocking us off out of the track. Oh, are you serious? Just like that. I thought we were still going to leave. And there's the finish line. And there's one. Okay, I'll drive for you, but please treat me bad. Mission pass. Like $3,000 for the reward and the 2 minute and 23 second race time. And Hillary wants us to treat you bad. So we already did that by like, crashing into him intentionally. I'm sure he liked that. Anywho, let's head to the Malibu pod because we're here. Get out of the way. Have our first rest. This location. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you on the next.